On September 18, the spacecraft flew around the moon, although it did not orbit it. The closest distance was 1,950 kilometers. Two Russian tortoises were included in the biological payload, weighing 0.34 to 0.4 kilograms each pre-flight. Especially remarkable is that in circling the moon they entered deep space, the first animals to do so, if we discount the flies and worms. Zond 5 was also the first spacecraft to accomplish a flyby of the moon and return to Earth. It was the prelude to sending a manned mission. Soviet scientists chose tortoises since they were easy to tightly secure. There were also two tortoises used as control specimens and four more in a vivarium. Twelve days before launch, the two spacebound tortoises were secured in the vehicle and deprived of food and water, the control tortoises were similarly deprived. The food deprivation was a part of pathomorphological and histochemical experiments. The biological payload also included fruit fly eggs, cells of wheat, barley, pea, pine, carrots, and tomatoes, specimens of the wildflower species Tradescantia palliadosa, three strains of the single-celled green algae chlorella, and one strain of lysogenic bacteria. The purpose of sending a variety of terrestrial life forms was to test the effect of cosmic radiation on them. However, the test subjects were not analogous to humans because the choice of life forms were all extremophiles with a substantially higher radioresistance. The Russian Academy of Sciences stated that a mannequin equipped with radiation sensors occupied the pilot's seat. On retrieval, scientists found the tortoises had lost 10% of their body weight and their glycogen and iron levels were raised, but showed no ill effects or loss of appetite. The tortoises underwent biological changes during the flight, but it was concluded that the changes were primarily due to starvation and that they were little affected by space travel.